So hello and welcome to a uh, film mixologist. What I'm going to do today is to um, um, get this trolley. Uh, I need to take out all the all the kind of muck that's on it and try to bring it in inside so I can do the painting and preservation of it. So this is going to be a video where I'm going to be trying a whole lot of kind of abrasives and abrasives material uh, to go on it. So let's fire up the anger grinder and see where this takes us.
Okay, so now I'm at a stage where I've got the two wheels off and I tell you, this one needed an industrial amount of persuasion involving kind of cutting, grinding, uh, heat, uh, nearly a whole kind of BB blaster. But finally, um, because I am an extremely um, pig-headed person, I just took it off. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't gonna win the battle so now what I need to do is I need to finish up uh, with this with this bits and bobs uh, clean this up um, and then clean up the wheels separately because it's much easier if you've got the wheels out to do them you, you can have much better access and also have much better access to clean around here so that's what I'm gonna do and just carry on with this job it's never ending I tell you
So I'm going to close the video here, uh, but before I do, I just wanted to kind of reflect on a couple of things. Um, first of all, that jobs always take you longer than what they seem. I think this, this took me nearly the whole day. I was like an hour, two hours work trying to free that wheel off. Um, but a big shout out to the manufacturer, to the inventor of this. I mean, the person who invented this is an evil and a sadist, but boy does this work. I don't know if it came through properly on the video, but this thing was just cutting through all the grease and, and all the kind of rust that was there. It was just completely flying off. And look at the first result. The trolley, I mean, it, it just looks ready for for paint which is kind of the next step in the process <clears throat> the other thing that that is quite important is obviously as you may have seen in the video I don't know if, if it came through or not I mean dust was flying all over the place so this is a the, this cleaning part of the job is something that you have to do outside and I went through about five pairs of gloves for this, uh, so you do need to have a uh, kind of appropriate kind of PPE and also kind of some uh, eye uh, protection, ear protection as well. I had my ear defenders on uh, quite a lot of time, so those are kind of my top tips to do this work. And in the next video, I'm gonna start the process of. Uh, painting this thing uh, obviously I need to leave it overnight here in the shop so that it it would it's it's gonna be completely dry and I've got and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve so I'll, I'll show you in the in the next video so good night